Welcome my friends, it's Andrew from IGB here. There are so many options for gimbals and stabilizers for your smartphone, but the one from Tiffin, which is the company that makes Steadicam for all those big movies out there, the Steadicam Volt is a really, really awesome gimbal that is decidedly different from pretty much everyone out there on the market. For starters, you can actually use this stabilizer completely handheld. If you're good enough using a stabilizer, you can just freehand this without the motor turned on at all, so you don't ever have to worry about batteries or anything like that. But for everyone else, there is a motor built in that allows you to stabilize it. There are pros and cons to this, like there are with every product that we review, but it definitely takes a different approach and kind of merges two worlds. That coupled with the dramatic new price drop, I can really, really recommend this gimbal to anyone who really kind of wants to get started shooting better mobile video. In the box, you'll find a carrying case, the batteries, the counterweights that you'll need to actually balance it out with your smartphone, then the actual steady cam itself. You'll also find a few different GoPro accessories because you don't have to use this just with your smartphone. There's actually GoPro mounts included in the box to start mounting your GoPro right on here, which is pretty awesome to be able to do. GoPro mounts in general are kind of pricey, so I kind of like that they just include a few of these out of the gate in the box. You can just swap out the plate on the top from the one for your smartphones to the one for your GoPro. You're good to go. One of the best features of the Steadicam the Volt is that it folds up. It's a lot more compact and easier to handle than some of the other ones out there. Those three axis gyro ones, they kind of bend all sorts of different ways and it's really hard to combine them and make them small enough to throw into a bag. This is really, really compact and it easily comes apart and goes back together. So you can get it out, put it all together, you're good to go in just a couple seconds compared to having to maybe screw something together, take parts apart. And once you have it balanced for the first time, as long as you don't change your iPhone case, you're pretty much good to go. I will say it is important to balance this correctly. I can't really state that enough because if it's not balanced correctly, it's just not gonna work right and you're gonna hate this thing. I had to spend quite a bit of time fine tuning, literally every half a millimeter seemed to make a difference in balancing this thing out. But once I spent a few minutes doing so and I got it balanced correctly, it was amazing how easy this thing was to use. Here I've got my iPhone 10 mounted on top inside of a case. I can easily move it all around without my phone really moving at all. I was shocked at how easy this was to use. Now, side to side, you do lose a little bit of wiggle room just because the motor, and you can see the little plates that are on the side, kind of prevent you from going really horizontal with it without bumping into itself. There are also two different modes, between sport mode and kind of movie mode, and it just depends on how experienced you are and how fast you're gonna be moving the gimbal around. Now, moving everything around inside, it looks all nice, well and good, but to really get the feel for this gimbal, we decided to take this outside, start shooting stuff on the go, and see how this actually played out compared to all of the other gimbals that we've been putting through the paces. Before we get into how you actually can control and use the gimbal, let's take a look at some sample footage. So all this is shot on the Steadicam Volt, and there is often issues combining the optical image stabilization on the phone with a three axis gyro. But here you can see with the actual gimbal on there and optical image stabilization going on the phone, it's really, really smooth. We're able to move it pretty freely and there's no jolting, there's no jumping. There's not really anything going on. It works really, really well together. So that's not something you have to worry about with the Steadicam Volt. You're also able to walk pretty smoothly and you don't even have to be taking that much consideration to it. And you can walk pretty smooth without the image jumping and bouncing around compared to this handheld footage where <laughs> the optical image stabilization is really struggling. It looks a whole lot better. Now, basic controls wise, you can move it around with one hand. It's gonna pretty much keep the same plane, um, but moving side to side is a little bit of an issue. Moving up and down works really, really smoothly. So that aside, if you want to turn the gimbal, you do have to use your thumb, which can be a little bit wonky and took a little bit of practice compared to using something like a joystick on other gimbals. You can see when we're moving it there, it just kind of bounced a little bit. The other option is to hold it straight with your thumb, and now you can pretty move freely with your whole arm, and it moves really nicely. Now, one of the biggest benefits is the wide movements. You can move this up, down, and you can move fast by using two hands and two thumbs, and everything stays perfectly stable. It's kind of awesome how fast you can move this gimbal compared to other ones that are actually motorized. It'll also keep its place and its angle when you move it up or down, as long as it is properly balanced. You can see here we moved it down, and it keeps that angle and that horizon. And once it's down there, you can go ahead and move your hand freely and kind of move around a little bit. Same thing, just move it back to the horizontal horizon when you're done. This is a really neat feature and something that took a little bit of work to master, but once I did, this is kind of an amazing gimbal and a whole lot cheaper than the other ones. 
At originally priced nearly $200 after raising a ton of money on a crowdfunded campaign, the price has now come down to around $74, bucks, and that is their new price. With that said, I can't recommend this thing enough. It is completely different than every other 3-axis gyro out there, and you can work with or without the motor. What's better than that? If you want to pick one up, you can find a link for it below in the description, and I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Till next time, this is Andrew for IDB.